We've seen how electricity can light a bulb and cause heat. What else will it do? Well, amazingly enough, it'll make a magnet. Uh, if we send a current, electric current, through a loop of wire, the loop of wire becomes a magnet. What we've got here is several loops of wire to make a bigger magnet. We've wrapped them around a piece of metal. And what I've got here is not itself a magnet. It can pick up that bar, for instance. But the moment I send a current through it, I'll hitch it up to this battery. Now it becomes a magnet, and it'll pick up that bar, for instance. A very it'll good pick magnet. Up those, uh, a very good magnet, right. It'll pick up all those paper clips as well and just as long as the current's flowing that's a magnet and as long as it's not flowing it isn't a magnet right so we'll un hitch the current it's not a magnet anymore to give you an idea of how electromagnetism works in industry we've come to iron and metals incorporated in north denver right now this electromagnet is holding up about three tons of scrap metal the current for the magnet comes from a generator in the cab here. It'll generate up to 20,000 watts of power and sends a current down that black wire into the coils of the magnet, which we can't see inside the metal disc here. And then it'll lift up the scrap metal. The crane operator swung the magnet over to a pile of chain. With the electricity flowing, the magnet lifts the chain up into the air. The chain drops to the ground with a clang. 